Hello, thank you for joining us today on Kelele TV. I am Betty Kialo. Today on your favorite segment, Mind Your Language, we are going to talk to the expert professor, English professor, Willis. He's going to expound on a word that has been making headlines and has been on the social media a lot the last week, Guinea Wasakao. And he's joining us live from abroad, overseas. We are not sure where exactly he is, but he, he'll tell us, he'll tell us where he is. Now joining us live in the studio is Mr. Willis, the English professor. Um, Willis, can you hear me? I think we have a bit of a problem there, but we, we, we'll get Willis on your screens very soon. Hello, Willis? Yeah, yeah, yes, mate. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, mate, I can hear you. Oh, how, how are you? Professor Willis. Wait, I'm very fine. Uh, can you tell us what part of the world you are in? Uh, wait, you know, I mean, for, for readers, I speak to you, but in the morning, I was actually in Minnesota. I actually also passed through Washington. We had a meeting with some lecturers from Oxford University. They're still wondering and trying to, you know, consult, of course, from experts like me, whether should people say potato or potato. Okay. So, did you come up with a decision? Did you come through with a decision on that? Betty, Betty, this is not a matter of coming up with a decision. Yes. Betty, on the matters of confidence, matters of professionalism, it is not coming up with a decision. The question should be, did you actually advise them as it ought to be said? Okay, Professor. Uh, let's move on to the serious matter, the, the word of today, Guinea Warsakao. What 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 is this word? It's creating quite a buzz in the Kenyan social media. What is this word? Betty, Guinea was a car. It's not just a normal word. Like I've seen many Kenyans just use it and use a hashtag Guinea was a car. You don't just say it. You know, Guinea was a cow is a word actually very ambiguous. It's divided in three major steps, the bet. Betty, the first one is Gin. Then we have Wase. Hmm? Betty. We have car. Guinea was a cow. And when you say guinea, you mean guinea. I like guinea. I like Guinness. You know. Then wase mm -hmm. like like people and a population. Wase the Swahili. Yes. Right? So wase. Is it Swahili or English? You know, Betty. There's no way it can be Swahili because you understand that Luo is not just any language. It is of course international language. But we need okay. to. We can take another day to also find out what exactly is internationalism. In this language so it is not just a simple term like some people might think this is actually originally an english word that was just borrowed or rather taken away and now is being used by 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 us but it's actually originally an old english word so professor guinea wasakao is actually our two words uh betty if you have been very keen from the beginning uh -huh. and betty please don't make me repeat myself i've said guinea was a cow at three actually. Where we have gi and was say and then ka. So I mean if you have been very attentive, some questions should not be answered questions, but it's what but professor, just uh, some of us do not understand this new word. So could you please just give us break it down for us? Well, Betty, let me tell you something. People think that gi was a cow has actually been just a word that you used the other day. Betty Let's take an example. In the 60s, the likes of Jaramogi Odinga, when they got actually this thing called independence, you could, they could say things like Ismar. In Ismar. You know, it is a word that has been used since the 60s. Even in 2013, we had actually used it, only to realize at the end of the day that we actually didn't have this thing. So this word is actually an old word that's been used in the past. Okay, Professor, so we just need you to confirm for us, is this word actually in Wikipedia? Uh, Betty, you know, I'm actually surprised, equally flabbergasted, and actually also shocked that you're asking me this kind of a question. Of course it is in Wikipedia. In fact, it has always been Wikipedia. It's only that we have not used it. But this one has actually always been Wikipedia, and it's not the only one. Just so you know, also Wogabo, and Wogabo is also in Wikipedia. <laughs> okay, Professor. And just uh, while you're in Florida and meeting with the professors from Oxford, are you... Planning to introduce this word to the Oxford Dictionary? Uh, Betty, we have been having consultation, as I've said earlier, with the University of Florida. 
And the question is not whether will they include the word in the dictionary. The question is why haven't they included the word in this dictionary? So we are talking about two different things here, Betty. And why we are here is to prove to them that they actually in, in wrong. Okay, Professor, we are, we need to unwind. We are running out of time. So yes, just Betty. one last question. Why is you're in um, America? Yes. Are you meeting with the president? <laughs> yeah. Well, of is course. it part of the consultation? Yes. You know, meeting the president when we come here, mostly if you come from Alego or those areas, is not questionable. This is a boy from home. So, of course, we've been meeting him. I even had tea with him yesterday with Tasha or Sasha okay. and also Michelle Obama. Okay, and, uh, Professor. Yeah. Okay, Professor. Yes. Thank you very much for breaking this phenomenal word down for us. Yes. And we hope we'll have you in the show again soon. Thank you very much, Betty. Okay. And I can't wait for next week when we come back to talk about the word adibogabo. Okay, Professor. And I'll be able to expound further why the word adibogabo is very keen, mostly doing a riot. <laughs> okay, Professor. I'm going to strike. have to cut you short. I'm being told our time is up. Thank but you, But it Betty. was a pleasure having you on the show. Thank you, Betty. It was also equally a pleasure. Okay, viewers. So there you have it. Professor Willis has broken down the word for us and vloggable. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm getting confused. The word for us, Guinea Wasa Cow. And if you just need to learn more about the word, go to Wikipedia. It's there. So, have a lovely evening.